welcome welcome to the uh the kind mary um ministries chapel of all nations welcome to our um our um uh our takeover 2014 uh marathon prayer line welcome There we go. Hallelujah. Good morning to you all. This is Edikai Mary. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Airway. <laughs> yeah. Grace. And the rest of you are there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've been on all night. Yes. Do those who need God very badly, they see God during this time. This is the time that He shows up. Hallelujah. God shows up at times that um, you think He's asleep, that is when He shows up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Whose phone or whose uh, whose devices is echoing like that? Okay. Thank you. I am so grateful that uh, you, my partners, really, really know how serious it is to how serious it is to be in the presence of God. Um, to to begin to this the, what I'm doing from. Uh, last night, nine o'clock, which will end by twelve noon, which is one p.m. Eastern and twelve noon Central, on on January one. It's very very massive. It's a discipline that I've learned that God taught me. It's not what I learned in school or what I learned in seminary, it is what the Holy Spirit taught me. That it is by being obedient, by being obedient to divine authority, divine voice, power comes. Let me tell those of you who are on the line right now. Many of you, without asking God, you will begin to experience you will begin to experience along the way this year you will begin to experience a sudden move of god and and you will begin to ask how come it comes with what we are doing power does not just flow Power does not just flow from uh, you walking to God and God suddenly show up. No, 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 no. God likes to be dated. You have to date God. You have to date God for God to show up. 
That's why when you go, like right now, that in a few hours to come, we will experience the new year according to time and day. Although you and I, we've already experienced it, we're into it. Supernaturally, we've entered into it. We're only waiting for the physical manifestation of it. You see, those who belong to the other camp, have learned how to stay in their shrine. So that's why every voodoo practicing person has the principality or demonic force living with him or her in the same roof. You're gonna need to develop the practice of presence in such a way that the presence of the Holy Spirit, the presence of angels, the presence of the Father and of the King himself, Jesus, lives within where you dwell. When you go out, he follows you. When you come in, he follows you. Tomorrow night by, by 12 o'clock, tomorrow night we will try to assemble um, the one that we will do by 12 cents, 12 is the beginning of the of the this thing. We will make sure that well we, we will make sure that we attend that one like around 11. So like we are having this one by three, we will have another one by six, then we'll have another one by nine, we'll have another one by twelve, we'll have another one by three, by six, then by nine. Then that's I'm talking of nine in the night. Then, instead of waiting till 12, we'll begin to assemble by 11. We'll begin to assemble by 11 or 11 30. Especially 11 30 will be better. We'll begin to assemble around that time. I'll let you guys know. And then we will go into the, we will, we will just go into the new year. And then, and then there will be another, and then there will be another one by three. We'll just continue like that until. 12 noon central time on new year's day which is 1 p.m is in the in the east coast by the time you finish this marathon take over 2014 marathon prayer prayer line it is you have you have received more force into you you've opened yourself to so much power that no power on the earth can contend with you. If anybody tell you, we are going to do you this, tell them, bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> because you know who is with you. You know who is giving you coverage. Tell them, bring it on. Yeah, I'm, and you tell them, I'm waiting. You guys are able to take other people on and take them out. You bring it on and I will take you out. Because you see, at the end of the day, it's a game of power. At the end of the day, it's not a game of talk. It's a game of power. Someone else's power is doing the job for them. And for us, it is the power of the king. It is the power of the spirit of the living God. It is the power of the father. And it is the sweet presence of angels. <laughs> let's begin to pray. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's welcome the father. Come on, let's pray. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pray, please. Brethren, let's pray. Let's pray. Dear Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the opportunity to be with you, the privilege and opportunity to stay awake and seek your face. You say, seek my face. We come to be in your presence. We come to be with you. Hmm. We love you. We care about you. 
you are more important to me, you are more important to us than food and drink and sleep. You are far more important to us than life itself. We ask you, Holy Spirit, as we assemble as your people, that you assemble with us. Gather us. Bring everyone who you who are supposed to participate in this gathering. Let a revival begin that cannot stop. We thank you for the last one we had. Thank you, Lord, that we are unstoppable, unlimited. Thank you, Lord. Cover our brothers and our sisters as they sleep tonight. And those of them who are already awake in Europe watching by Justin TV. Lord, I ask that you bless them, you keep them. Hallelujah. Let me begin to read to you from um, Psalm 312 here, 12 minutes past 3 Central Time. I'll begin to read the scripture. Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Please, can you guys hear me very clearly? Yes, yes. See what the Bible says. God blessed them. And he said, When you said, I want to bless somebody, blessing must go with the word. Every blessing without a word is no blessing. It is the spoken word that confirms, that seals a blessing, that, that makes it real. Look at what the Bible says, verse 28. God blessed them. And God said, there must always be something spoken to show that the blessing has happened. Just like when you receive a baptism of joy, like I receive, you laugh easily, you smile easily, you have the ability to overcome every assault of the enemy. If you receive a baptism of the Holy Spirit, you speak in, a, in different tongues. And God said to them, be fruitful. You see, the blessing, this is what the blessing is about. So if you say that you have the blessing, you must be prepared to be fruitful. The blessing means that you are fruitful. Be fruitful. This, that's what God said. Be ye for a continuous something. It's not something that happened to you once. It's something that continue forever. It's something that has been spoken into you. Every blessing enters into you and begin to run like a cycle. It does not stop. Be fruitful and increase in number. Okay? What is God talking about there? Increase in number. It's about having children, but it's beyond that. Having children is just a small aspect of looking at it. Be fruitful. An increase in number. Be fruitful means with your talent, with your gift, with what you are able to do in life for good. 
and for goodness sake. Let that thing become what gives you money. What provides food for you. After all, why do you want to have children who will not be able, capable of becoming great people? Don't ever make babies whom you are unwilling to bless. Don't do it. Be fruitful means is God telling you that the seed, there is a seed in you. Whether you are a man, whether you are a woman, there is a seed inside you. That seed must germinate and grow up like a plant and become a mighty tree. That's what it means by being fruitful. He blessed them and said, be fruitful. There is a seed in you. That seed can feed the entire world. There is a gift in you. That gift must be awakened. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is capable of making the seeds in you to increase. Okay. He said increase in number. It means this. Start a business. When you start a business, don't aim at starting only one business. Aim at making that company to be in every place. Increase in number. McDonald is not only in one place. It's everywhere. Burger King is everywhere. Jillian, Jillian and uh, Chant, uh, uh, Chantel, what are the what are the restaurants or fast food chains that they have in Canada? Okay, it's just the same thing. Okay, the same thing, same thing like the Lads, Mercy, Jesse Penny, all those places. They are not just in one place; they are all over. Multiply the fruitfulness. You are not given fruitfulness for one for one just just within yourself. Any f seed in you that you do not invest, you do not you do not you, you do not make to work for you will not work. If there is somebody who is also at the same time you are listening and you are doing something, then mute your phone. If you are moving about doing something in your house, mute your phone so that we don't hear what you are doing. There is somebody who is moving about, you are moving about, you are doing something. Mute your phone if you are moving around. So that only you alone can hear. Uh, you can hear me and we, we do not want to know what you are doing. Okay. This is what God is saying. In 2014, I want you to make your seed. There are many seeds I've put in you. There are many seeds. Different talents are in you. Different creativities are in you. I want you to plant them in different places and let them begin to multiply and increase. If it is writing a book, begin to write. If you want to write, if you, like myself, I like writing books about bridges, about train, about A, 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 A about A planes or people, things that is based in the A, things like that. I'm good at that. Or poetry. 
I am looking forward to the time that what I've written as a poetry will become a song. And then what I've, a little story I've written will become a movie. So you never know. Sometimes you never know which one will become something. Which one will become something that the entire world gonna want. So that's why I do what I do. That's why when the spirit come upon me, I just keep teaching, 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 teaching. I don't care who is viewing or who is not viewing. I just keep teaching. I just keep putting them out there. Somewhere along the line, somebody will discover it. So sow your seeds. Put them in different places. Let your talent, just, just make sure your talent is spreading. Is Grace from New York on the line tonight? Okay, she's not there. Maria, are you there online? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Marlene, are you there? Okay, she's not there. All right. Now, you realize that... Oh, she, oh, you are there. Okay, that's good. We've been here since you went to bed or whatever you did for the last three hours. Maria and I on the line. I don't think so. Ask her. Maria, you guys been there for the past three hours? Yep, we're afraid. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's good. That's good. I had no idea that there were people who were still there. I thought everybody were gone. Okay. Now, this is it. Um increasing in number is the desire is the desire of god for you this coming year if you are gonna start a ministry a business increase in number just increase in number do not do not and never, never, never do something small. Always make sure that it's going to be big. Increase the number. Feel the earth. It is the desire of God that this, the people of the earth know you. Feel the earth with your talent. Not only that. Subdue it. Subdue it. Be the best in your area of power. Look at what he said. Rule. Rule over this. Okay, he began to talk about ruling over the, the creatures and so on and so forth. Um, I want you to think very seriously about what I've said. All of that, all of that is the meaning of being blessed. That is the meaning of being blessed. So there is no way you can tell me you are blessed without the fruitfulness allowing your seed work for you so there is a place where God comes in God has already spoken the thing into us as we continue to seek him but then there is a place where you have to employ your seed your talent if it is prayer I always tell people that don't come to Christianity because it is you think it is an easy way out of stuff Yes, it is, but come into it because there is a passion for God. In reality, there is a passion for God. Don't come into Christianity because you are lazy. You don't want to have a job. I'm telling you, don't try to be a pastor, a bishop, an archbishop, a prophet, an evangelist, a pastor, teacher. Because it's the easy way out. 
Because if you come into it looking for an easy way out to make a living, you won't make a living. It will be the most frustrating experience you've ever had. That's why I always tell people. Let it be that there is a divine calling and a divine choosing. Then the spirit will be upon you. And then your seed, the gift, the talent in you will begin to increase to feed the world and then to multiply from coast to coast, nation to nations. What I want to say tonight has to do with the blessing. You have been blessed, so you cannot be cursed. From tonight, I want you to say this to yourself. I am blessed. I am blessed. Begin to say it. I am blessed. Hallelujah. I am blessed. 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 I am, blessed. I am, blessed. I am in the blessing. I have, I have the blessing. God has blessed me. God the Father has blessed me. Nobody can curse me. I am blessed. Therefore, nobody can curse me. In 2014, I am blessed. 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 From January 1st to December 31st, I am blessed. Say it. From January 1st to December 31st, and then I from January 1st to December 31st, I am blessed. I am blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am blessed. I am a blessed son of God. Say it. I am a blessed son. I am a blessed daughter of God. I am a blessed son of God. I am a blessed daughter of God. I am blessed. Now, I want you to take some time now. Take some time right now and begin to bless yourself. Begin to bless yourself. I'm not asking you to begin to tell God to bless you. I want you now to begin to bless yourself. Tell yourself, I am blessed. And begin to tell yourself the things that you have been blessed with. Tell yourself the things that you've been blessed with, whether it be money, whether it be property. I'm not asking you to ask God to bless you. You bless yourself now. Come on. Begin to bless yourself. I'm not asking you to tell God to bless you. Now bless yourself. What are the things you are blessed with? You are blessed with money. Bless yourself with money. Bless yourself with health. Bless yourself with opportunity. Bless yourself with a job. Bless yourself with, with good people, good connections. Bless yourself with a wife, with a husband, with children. Bless yourself. What are you blessed with? The things God has blessed you. Begin to talk about it. Bless yourself with new businesses. Bless yourself. Begin to bless yourself. Begin to bless yourself. Begin to bless yourself. I 
I am blessed. I bless myself with new investment. I bless myself with new people that I'm ministering to. I am ministering to people in their thousands, in their millions, in their billions. I am blessed with a global church, with a worldwide denomination. I am blessed. I am blessed with supernatural giftedness. I am blessed. I am blessed with power and authority in the heavenly realms. I am blessed with, with health, with divine health, so that I cannot be sick. I am blessed with family. I am blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed with this with the gift of worship. I am blessed. I am blessed with property. I am blessed with people giving to me. People are giving to me. I bless myself with, with these things. I am blessed with big farmers. I am blessed. 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 I am blessed with big, big, big open doors to preach, to teach, to minister with miracles, signs, wonders following. Open doors. Doors are opening for me all over the earth. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed with the gift of truth. I am blessed with the with the gift of gentleness. I am blessed with the gift of joy. I am blessed with the gift of love. I am blessed with the gift of power, with the gift of peace. I am blessed with the gift of providing service for people. I am blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Thank you, Jesus. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed in Jesus' name. I am blessed with authority. I'm blessed with authority, with a force, with the dominion of the Lordship of Jesus. I am blessed with the ability to function as a principality upon the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am blessed. I cannot lack any good thing. I and my family and the family of God that has been given to me, I am blessed. 2014, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed with my daughters. Yes, I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's begin to pray. Let me pray for you now. Be blessed. Be fruitful and multiply, increase. Let the seed in you begin to work. There are many of you, the seed in you. When he said be fruitful, it means there is a seed already in you. And that seed must germinate. And begin to grow. I am asking you to begin to grow. Whoever is watching and listening, begin to grow now. Begin to grow now. Begin to grow now. When he said be fruitful, it's only a plant that is alive, that is thriving, that is doing good, that is fruitful. Be fruitful. Let the gift in you become fruitful. The money in your life become fruitful. Your family life become fruitful. Your worship become fruitful. The reading of the word of God in your life become fruitful. Everything you do from now on begin to be fruitful right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All your investment be fruitful. All the education that you've attained in life be fruitful. All your training be fruitful. All your certificates be fruitful. When you open your mouth to pray to God, let it be fruitful. Every seed that you've sown for the kingdom of God be fruitful. 
Be fruitful means that everything that you've already planted, if you've planted nothing, then you cannot even be. And if that thing has not even grown, then you cannot be fruitful. So you need to plant something constantly. And God will keep making it grow and make it fruitful. Fruitfulness means this. It means that I walk up to an orange tree and there is fruit in it and I pluck it and eat it. If I come to you, is your is your is is you as a tree producing fruit? It means produce fruit. What God is saying is that God is only blessing those that are producing that are producing fruit. Only those that are producing fruit or are willing to put a seed in the ground or are willing to pay the price receive this blessing. You see, you see, you see how it is. If you are not willing, if you are not willing to sow your seed in the ground, to let your gift work for you somewhere, somehow, then the blessing does not work for you. The blessing only works for those who have something to sow. That's what we are learning here. Say, be fruitful. How can you be fruitful when there is no seed? When there is no seed, then there is nothing to bless. God always bless something. God will never bless a greedy person. If greed is at the core of whatever you do, God will never bless it. You will never be fruitful. That's why a lot of people struggle, 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 struggle. It's because they are unwilling to sow something. If you are unwilling to sit your daughters down or your sons down and sow into them the word of life, even if they tell you, oh, this is prayer, it's old-fashioned, fasting is old, nobody is doing this, this, this. Forget about it. The reason why they are saying so is because they have not yet experienced life. When they begin to experience the real life, they will, when they begin to see disappointment and failures, and how they are the best and they will be bypassed, and somebody who is a mediocre will be chosen, then reality will dawn on them that they need God. That's how this thing goes. God will never bless somebody who is unwilling to, to show him or herself until you show yourself. The fruitfulness will not come. Hallelujah. Think about that. Until you show yourself, the fruitfulness will not come. You must be willing to show yourself. Then God will bless that sowing. Whether in giving love, whether in participating in social justice, whether in sowing financial seeds on a constant basis, whether good words, whether prayer, real genuine prayer, Remember that until something is sown on the earth, the blessing does not happen. The blessing will not happen to whoever is unwilling to learn a new thing. If you are unwilling to learn a new way to do things, God will not come and bless it. God will only bless and make fruitful that which is willing to be planted. If, if you cannot receive instruction from people, your, your boss tells you what to do and you are unwilling to do what a human being who is in charge of you at your job tells you to do. God cannot bless. You can pray. Every prophet in the world can pray for you. 
if you like travel to where all those people are, God will never bless what you are doing. So obedience is very necessary. If you, do, if you cannot accept instruction from other people, then start your own business. Go and find money and start your own business. If you find it difficult to accept other people's instruction, when people tell you, I want you to do this, I want you to do that, and you find it difficult to do it, the blessing cannot run on you. Cannot run it on you and in you. The blessing only runs on those who are willing to let something go, to let something be sown on the earth. I'm telling you that is how it goes. Those who are willing to forgive people and let them go, there are people that you should forgive and let them go and not allow them to enter your life again. Then the blessing will run on you. You cannot be fruitful and increase and multiply and subdue and all that except you're willing to let something leave your life. You're willing to sow yourself into something. And if you have retired from life, where do you volunteer? Where do you volunteer? Where do you volunteer? So think about that. Think about that. Until you begin to sow yourself into something. The Father doesn't come to give the blessing. The Son does not come to give the blessing. The Holy Spirit does not give the blessing. So the blessing is only for those who knows how to sow the seed of their life. We are not just talking of money. Any kind of seed you sow into people. I got two emails two days ago from the uh, the I used to work as a, a director of work program in a, in a program somewhere in one of the states. And the men who used to be, who I used to train in that program, two of them wrote to me telling me that I, I really, really helped them. I am sowing into the lives of people and I'm looking forward for the fruitfulness to happen. And then the increase in numbers will happen. Service is the beginning of the blessing. Service is the beginning of the blessing. What service are you willing to give so that the blessing will happen? The fruitfulness and the rest of it and the increase in number. There are many people who are unwilling to invest their money into property. They are unwilling to invest their talent into things that will prosper them in the future. There are certain things you do today looking towards tomorrow. I want you to ask yourself, how far have you, have you pushed yourself to become somebody in life? Not just somebody who read the Bible, but in truth. How far have you pushed yourself to become somebody? How far? How far have you pushed yourself so that tomorrow when your kids come up, they say, Mommy, why are you pushing us to go to college? You yourself, you didn't go to college. You didn't like studies. We never saw you read a book. We never saw you watch the news. Why are you telling us to become this and that? You yourself, you, you, are, none of, you are none of this stuff. So why should we become? See, those are the things you should think about. Begin to pray because what I've just said, God is talking to you. So I want you to lift up your voice and begin to talk to God about whatever thing he's telling you through what I've just spoken this morning. Let's begin to pray.
if you wanted nothing out of life, why do you want your children to have to, to try to find something in life? You didn't want anything out of life. You, you didn't go for a great job and stay in that job forever and retire in it. Begin to pray. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I worship you, Lord. I want great things out of life. I want great things out of life. I want great things out of life. Lord, I want great things out of life. I want great things, famous things, rich things out of life. Hallelujah. Let me begin to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. God will make you willing in 2014 to sow your life. To sow your talents, to sow your gift into something that God will bless in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'll see you guys by six o'clock. Please let's leave the line. Let's leave the line. Go and rest. Please go and rest. Go and rest. We have a long way to go. Please, yes, please go and rest a little bit because we are meeting by six o'clock. There is a long way for us to go. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Please enter your pin followed by pound. Oh, I did not even, I did not even do that. Please enter your pin followed by pound. We should cancel that. Maria, go to bed, okay?